quite amazing. I recommend if you get the opportunity to come here to do so. Supposedly, people claim it's haunted. Kind of walked it off by myself to see um, if there's anything here. So far, may have heard some whispers. Don't know for sure. Uh, nevertheless, you're coming with. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, it's in my pursuit to bring you all different types of entertainment. So be blessed. Enjoy this video. Let's do this. Guys, we are at DeBerry Park. Trina, Mike, Hello. Chris, and uh, as you can see, everybody's cars lined up. I ha I, I have the Chevy. Chris has the uh, really awesome Subaru, and Drina and Mike Daddy. have uh, a Cadillac. They just Mike and Drina just had their other car fixed, the new engine put in, and now it's got the transmission. That's a Ford for you. Yeah. <laughs> so like Run DMC you. said, I drive a caddy, you're bitching a Ford, now I'm <laughs> driving a caddy. Yeah, like they let me walk around at night, you just can't go in any of the buildings oh, at really? night. Um, they were really nice about it. But there's a, uh, this is the Berry Mansion. Supposedly, people claim that you come here at night and you can actually see a little girl look out one of the uh, bedroom windows. Uh, Again, it's just some kind of urban legend. Don't know if there's any validity to that. All I gotta say is if I saw that, I... Yeah, it would be time to get out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now I think we gotta start over on this side. Uh huh. The mansion's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, right around the gate here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you. Did you guys get to go through? No, we're Not making. Uh, we live right here, so. Oh, okay. We're gonna come during the week. All right, you guys are going to be uh, celebrities on uh, YouTube now. Oh! <laughs> Would you like to say anything for the camera? Well, it's a beautiful area right here. Yes, it is. Yes, it was nice meeting you guys. Yeah, so, likewise. You know, and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you. And I'm Joe. Joe? Yes. I'm Joe. Hey, Joe, all right. <laughs> I'm Chris. Nice <laughs> I'm Mark, Michael Jackson. You look familiar. Adrena. Rebecca, my wife. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, guys. Be blessed. I'm do that. I'm Hey, y'all see her hair do, right? I did that. <laughs> Who did your hair today, Mike? That's what I'd like to know. Stop it, Joe. Stop it. I actually did. I would like to cut it shorter, but Mike. No, I told you to cut it. I told you to cut it. Hey, y'all remember Joe, right? What about Chris? You remember Chris? Uh, it's been a while, guys. <laughs> he got a little taller because his hat. <laughs> it's true. Hey, that's, that's you got him a different head. Why am I the green? So the other one was so filthy and dirty from all those explorers. So I just put this one on today. Uh, and besides, you know, you know, I got a match. I got, you know, yeah. you got to cut a cord. Yeah. You got exactly, cut a cord. exactly. <laughs> I can't be in your video and all mismatched. You know. Hey, going here. Yeah. yeah all right. Well, uh, all right. After you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Can we come in with our cameras? Uh, all right. <laughs> well, we, we heard you were here today, so we had to get the cameras out. I want an autograph, please. How you doing? I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Ed. Nice to what meet you. Are you here for wedding pictures? No, no, no. No, we do a YouTube channel. We want to film this beautiful mansion. Yeah, we had a couple of oh, Michael, how you doing? Hey. They look uh, just like us? I'm telling you, they look like twins. I'm telling you. They got, they, yeah, they got married like 15 years ago. They came back two weeks ago. That could have been us, huh? <laughs> Guys. No, actually, this is our first time here. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We came, me and her came from Bradenton. Oh, wow. This okay. is 
Joey and Chris. Hi. Hello. So we do uh, we do YouTube channel. We thought this would be a really cool thing to film. So you guys don't mind being on uh, scene all over the world, do you? No, not at all. We're government employees, so film away. We're oh, okay. Days, all right. So oh, cool. Sure. Okay and home. you know the First Amendment. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we would all like to go check out the beautiful mansion. Is there anything you can tell us about this before we go in there for our audience? So it is a historic site. It was built over 150 years ago by a man named Frederick DeBerry. He was a European wine champagne importer. Mm -hmm. um, and so to go into the house, it is a guided tour. Yes. Um, and so we have tour guides that will take you through. And thank you. And it to the 15-minute movie. Awesome, that sounds really cool. Um, we also like are interested in the paranormal now. We, we hear that there's supposedly a girl that looks out the window at night. Is what's up with that? You seen her? You sure? Is there? No, is, that's not really something we can talk too much about. Yeah, I have not seen or experienced anything. But have you heard anything to that rumor or no? Just curious. There are stories out there. Okay. Sure. You guys All right. used to have like a Halloween. We do do theme. a creepy candlelight tour in October. Oh, nice. It's in the evening, and we turn off all the lights, and we dress in Victorian clothing, and we take groups through the house, and we talk about Victorian death and mourning customs, and we have some reenactors reenacting seances and oh, cool. stuff like that, sure. and we will talk about some things that people have claimed to have experienced. Yeah. Now we know where the ghost is coming from. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so very much. This here is New Smyrna Beach, and it's a live view that's going on right now. Um, and if you are filming, what I'd like to show you even more interesting than this uh -huh. is... The trails. Yeah, so we are not only a historic site, uh -huh. um, we are a trailhead for Volusia County. Oh, okay. And so, as you can see here, there are over 200 miles of paved trails in Florida. Wow. So okay. Over Washington by you all, so you can start in Tarpon and you can ride all the way to the oh, coast. Oh, yeah. And then there's the heart of Florida, and there's the St. John's River to the Loop. And so every county is responsible for their portion yeah. of the trails, um, and so there are still some gaps. So we have these interactive trail maps so that if you come to us while we're open, we can show you where you are on the trail and give you suggestions of where to go. Um, so we have these maps. So you're here at Barry Hall, and so bike riders, rollerbladers, walkers can all go down. Do so folks road. come here like leave their like leave their car and then ride their bikes from here? Absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. We have a bike so cool. station if you need to fill your tires. With we got to do that. We have yeah, a yeah, we are. <laughs> and so when you get on the trails, a lot of them kind of cut in, mm -hmm. and so we can also show folks like this is what you're looking at when you're on a trail in Volusia County. You know a little bit about the house that it was Frederick's winter hunting lodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my just, winter hunting lodge is not even in Florida. To, uh, <laughs> just for bird hunting. But come on in. Dude, where's your winter hunting lodge? Is oh, it uh, in Florida? Mine, or? Mine, Mine's in New Hampshire. <laughs> I mean, I guess, Thank you. I guess mine You can sit wherever you like, but the floor is going to move on the center section. Oh, okay. I'm just going to film this uh, model real quick. Look how cool. All right, uh, the, the floor rotates, is what we're told. Never knew who you'd be on board with. Sometimes it took 18 hours to complete the run. <clears throat> I imagine you're glad it's 1886 and the city of Jacksonville is available. <laughs> I've gotten way ahead of myself. You don't have any idea where DeBerry Hall is, now do you? Let alone what there is to see on the way. So let's get our bearings back to the guidebook. Hmm. I know there's a map in here somewhere. This rotating computer is making us all a little nauseous. Yeah. 
Anyway, we're trying different things, and uh, this certainly is different. How are you feeling over there? This is crazy. I got dizzy at first. Like, yeah. I got light pads. Oh, man. Oh, man. Doesn't this remind you of that place in Georgia we went to? This does remind me of Georgia. Yeah? Yeah. yeah a lot. One, uh, plantation with the um, alligators. alligators. Yeah. yeah. But I think this was way bigger than that. It looks like it. Yeah. Maybe you can cut it in half. On the left with no windows, mm -hmm. that was the ice house. When the D-berries arrived here from up north, they loaded up the wagons went over to New Smyrna Beach. It was an all-day trip over there by wagon. They would stay at Frank's Hotel. Mm -hmm. The gentlemen would go out in the water and get the big green loggerhead turtles, bring them back, flip them over, salt them down. Aunt Lizzie was the cook here, and she would make a turtle soup. Oh, Ooh, sounds gross. <laughs> what? You never ate a turtle before? No. Man, and I don't think in my future I will good. be either. Yeah. <laughs> The next house you see is the laundry house that used to be down by the stables. That's where our caretaker lives presently. So we ask you, don't go visit with him, but the other buildings you're welcome to enjoy. <laughs> okay, all right. So he lives in this house? Though. Yes, he lives in this house. So we're going to enter on the back of the house here, and we'll work our way around to the front. Okay. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say ladies first. Oh, you gotta lock it. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's exactly my point. Wow, this is really neat. So welcome to Frederick D. Berry's Winter Hunting Lodge, built in 1871. This year it's 153 years old. Wow. This one room was added onto the house and it's the new dining room. The original dining room was too small to accommodate all their dinner guests. Mm -hmm. You can see the table set here in the center. And in the picture you can see the bird cakes has been here all this time. And this is how gentlemen back in this era kind of showed off their wealth was by displaying their stuffed birds. So Frederick was very proud of his stuffed birds. Is this the original? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can see it right here in this picture. It's wow. Been here all this That's time. really neat. And, and this is 1800s? 1871 is when the house was built. This one room was probably added on five years, maybe now, six. I was talking about far as an architect of building this, you know what I'm saying? This neat, yeah. Yeah, this, um, one of his friends actually made this for him, and this is all hand carved. Wow. One of our students from UCF identified all the birds and where they're from. Oh, wow. So that was a nice feature. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Can I have a seat? You know, I don't think we don't think it's different plantations and stuff, but we've never seen this type of furniture there. Um, yeah. This was not a plantation. No, no, I, I know that, but I'm just talking about the eight. Yeah, just yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah I want to say the plantation. I was yeah. talking about the furniture. So. Yeah. yeah, look, we've got a few pieces that are originals to the house. When we get over to the dining room. Is, is this a, an original piece, like for this house? That was found down in the stables. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, that's a rug. We don't know if it's a rug or What an interesting place. If you guys notice, the glass is like so old that it almost looks melted. It is a little melted, actually.
it's crazy to think that this family was so wealthy that this was their hunting lodge, is what we're told. All right, so I'll mark this uh, spot in the video by talking to you guys because it sounded like I heard a whisper behind me. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but it sounded like it. Look at that amazing stained glass. How cool is that, huh? See, even though it's light in here, I still want to turn the light on once in a while so I could show you these things. I just don't want to burn out my light. And if we're going to do possibly another video after this. What a cool place though, huh? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it was scary. See, I love historic places. It really like gets my imagination going and curiosity of like what life may, may have been like back in this time. And I think this piece, like the furnishing, the furnishings in here, I believe are original furnishings for this property. Frederick's daughter that had gone back to Germany 
the D Berry student. Oh wow! Right. So the woman who was the uh, the pilot that would come in here, huh? Wow! Did that happen here in Florida? The accident? No, it was up north. Up north. Oh wow! Now Adolf's wife's name Augusta. His wife. Everybody calls her Augusta. She loved New York. She loved the opera. She was a very accomplished pianist. She would play the piano here on Sunday nights. Wow. The windows would be open. The lower and have things go completely up to the ceiling. So this place has a really amazing history, but I'll put an article in this place about it. I don't necessarily want to continue always with the tour, so we could kind of experience it together. And uh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I wonder if there is any truth. Is this place haunted? I don't know. Uh, I heard it rumored to be so. Definitely a cool place though. And look at this. Look at this furniture. How awesome. Unbelievably cool. -na -na -na. Welcome to Masterpiece Theatre. Thank goodness there's a lot of these air conditioners in here because it is a hot day, guys, in Florida today. Look at this really ornate banister, huh? Isn't that cool? Dogs could run right through the house, and that's what it was all about when they were here. Was enjoying honey. What is it called? The, do the, 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 the honey trot? Dog, dog trot. trot. Michael, at your estate, do you have the dog trot, sir? Oh yeah, as long as we have some great pond, we're good to go. Fantastic, <laughs> man. Yeah. The colored glass that you see above the doors is uh -huh. the colors of the Deberry Crest. Gold, red, and blue, that's original to the house. Oh, the wow. Okay. It's not documented anywhere, but that's why it's. So, what them doors about eight feet? Yeah. yeah. Well, the ceilings yeah, are 12. Yeah. So, she's okay with me just walking around by myself. So, let's go upstairs and see. For ourselves.
You rang? So as you can see, uh, the mirrors here are so old that they're like, you can't, it's like they're fogged over. Uh, this might be the woman who was the pilot who uh, died in that plane, I believe, that uh, the tour guide was telling us about. Lots of cool furnishings here. Look at this amazing staircase. This banister is really, really thick and just you can tell it's made very well. This is the room. When I came here by myself one time at night and the caretaker was like, yeah, you could film at night. And I, he was telling me that if I was standing down there, I was, I was actually on the staircase down there and he was saying that supposedly there's rumors to be the little girl that lived here and I believe passed here. Some people claim that they would see her looking out this very window. Again, urban legend. Don't know if there's any truth to that whatsoever. However, uh, that was what was told to me. Little Amish looking boy, huh? Doll. I did hear kids, but there's probably kids outside playing. As you can see, like, it's kind of interesting how it looks like there was additions added on to the building. Like, it looks like this was the outside wall at one time and then this was added on afterwards. Emily Von Barry. It's like the Von Trapp family, right? Jean de Berry, Johann de Berry, Franz de Berry, and Margaret de Berry. This dude looked a lot like Ben Frank Franklin, Sam de Berry, poor guy. One thing these people all have in common now is they're all uh, passed on. So no matter what you have, one day we all become food for uh, worms and stuff, right? We die.
It's a lot, it looks like a lot of additions were added to this property. Cozy little room. There's Abraham Lincoln. Be real interesting if there is anything picked up here. You never know. Um, if not, it's a real interesting place, at least for me. So my camera does shut off at 30 minutes. I think that's what may have transpired. I'm looking for the group. Personally, filming, I don't like to do tour videos myself because I like to ex experience it myself differently. And then um, hopefully it would last two days. Right. But keep their dairy, their wines. Right. Yeah, I saw that eggs and stuff in there as well, huh? No drip drawer. It was made to just drip out right underneath out. the house. Oh, wow. So they put ice underneath that, I presume? Ice, yeah, in, the ice in, yeah. in the center yeah. section here, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And behind you there, you may have noticed this as we were coming in. It's an indoor outhouse. Oh, I already used you know, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, the rest of them, yeah. And this was for everyone, mm -hmm. the staff, the workers, the family. You know, oh. it's, it's like up in Quincy, North Florida. Yeah. We had real outhouses. Oh, for real? Yeah, okay. my, my great-grandmother, she would never let us go in the house and use the bathroom. We always had to go to the house. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it was a the, but it had like two two things in it. Two like, yeah. yeah. Head upstairs. All right, upstairs well, is, this is just a, like a, a closet. Are you on a live? Mm -hmm. no. You can't oh. go down there, but I'll show oh, no. you. Oh, oh. It's a basement. Oh, basement. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can take a peek and, you know, just look down. Okay. And it's um, only... It's very clean looking. It's on a little bit under the dining room over there and only to about here. Oh, so it's just more like space. when they came down and brought their supplies with right. them, their wines and stuff went in that. Something about this to me looks so inviting, like... I don't know, like it'd be kind of cool to have in my own house. This big giant pantry type thing. I mean, it, it's sturdy as can be. One thing I noticed about all these like paintings, they all have such serious looking faces, like nobody's smiling. I think they always went for that very stoic look, I guess. Look at that. Shit's like angry.
store-bought railing. <laughs> I like how she clarified it was store-bought. <laughs> right. All right, so uh, I hope you don't mind. I didn't really stay with the uh, group. But doing these tours is really not something I typically do. I kind of like to uh, give you guys different footage and that's that's really why I kind of stepped away as well. Um, maybe we pick something up here, maybe not. I don't know if we did. Um, curious, I always like going back and listening to the video and see if we picked up anything. It's, it's fascinating. Um, but like I said, again, not looking for it, but if it happens, it happens. I uh, hope you guys have a blessed evening. I hope this video was uh, enjoyable for you. It was enjoyable to make. And like I said, I'm going to bring you different types of videos, uh, different locations. And uh, I'll still do like really creepy videos, alone challenges. I just got to be real uh, different in the way I approach things uh, moving forward. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, amazing evening. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless. Much love. Have a good night. Against better judgment and good old common sense, that place is bad. What's that? You don't do an intro without me. Mike, it wouldn't be an intro without you. The hair? <laughs> Mate, let's fix your hair though before you Yo, start. what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? He <laughs> trying to do a video without me? See that? That was against better judgment. See? Let me explain to y'all something. How y'all doing tonight? Oh, there you go. Um, Mike is what? I'm chilling. I'm chilling with uh, Joe. It's just me and him here. Um, Chris and Drina, they around here somewhere, but they ain't with us. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> welcome to Joe EC TV. So uh, behind us here is a really bad idea, don't you think? Yeah, that's sketchy. Sketchy, bad idea that somebody's shooting something back there. There's a basketball game going on. There's this building, there's a highway, and there's us going in here. <laughs> Anyhow, tonight I'm here with Dreen and Mike. It's been, a, what, a couple weeks since we oh, did a video? A About a wow. month. Yeah, yeah. So uh, please check out their channel. It's Dreen and Mike's Paranormal Adventures. Of course, we'll be uh, in the link below in this video. And we have Chris. Uh, it's been a, uh, probably how long? Two uh, months or so? Yeah, just about. Yeah. About two about months. Half, two so months. it's so good to be with everybody. His channel is Blood Recruitioner. Likewise, we'll be in the link below. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea to go in there. Anyway, uh, I promised myself I wouldn't be in any creepy abandoned buildings until today. <laughs> so uh, we're going to check that out. You're coming with. Any last words? Thank we're you not, guys. We're not like, forcing. Subscribe. We're not forcing <laughs> Joe to go in this creepy place. He's doing this on his own free will. But he forced me to come. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you, we're not forcing him, but he's forcing me. Exactly. Nobody's forcing anybody to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They are. You're all coming with. Let's do this. All right. So I promised you guys some creepy videos. This place. Probably on a scale of 1 to 10 from being outside here. Before even going in there, I would say it's at 11. It is creepy. Um, don't know anything about it. Let's go do it. Wow, this place is really, really run down. Oh really? This yeah. Mm -hmm. There's spiders and there's like no way really in that I can see. Wow. So this restaurant looks disgusting, uh, to say the least. You alright, Mike? What happened? Is extremely sick feeling already.
You all right, man? All right, uh, yeah. This smells unbelievably bad. Yeah. There's still condiments out on the tables. What? There's a ditch up there. Yeah, but there's a way in through here. The ditch is out that way. Oh my gosh. Alright. There's a little walkway here. Hey Mike, if you're not feeling good, man, I don't I, I we don't have to do this. I just fell. Like, uh, one right here. Alright, Chris found a way. Whew, man. Go ahead, bro. Mm. Oh, Damn. Well, that sucks. Look at this as an in loving, in loving memory plaque. Wow. I know this much, I'm not going through no window. Sometimes you just gotta cut your losses, and this is definitely one of those places. Someone's in there? I said if somebody's in there, oh. and I'm in there alone. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this was a definite bust, which is fine. Honestly, I'd rather not go in a place if, uh, if it's moldy like that. And honestly, I told myself I'm going to stay out of abandoned buildings for a while. Filled with mosquitoes and all kinds of funky stuff. Yeah. All right, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This was a definite loss. But maybe it was a gain, really, think about it, because who really wants to go in there? Not me, it's nasty. So, you guys uh, want to go anywhere else? You want to wrap this up? Yeah, okay. All right, guys, go in love, go in peace, have a good night.
it's gonna make me better Fill my cup, it's not enough Before it's running over